Hello, my name is Britt Chase, and I'm the Assistant Dean in the Honors College at the University of Vermont. Uh, I wanted to speak briefly today to all current UVM first-year students at the university who may be interested in applying to the Honors College through our sophomore admission process. If you've been enjoying your course of study at UVM, and if you're interested in diving a little deeper into your intellectual passions while also being a part of community of a community of scholars, then the Honors College might be a great opportunity to enhance and enrich your academic, your co-curricular, and your overall experience at UVM. I want to give you a little bit of information on the Honors College community, the curriculum, and its capstone thesis project, and then also give you a chance to learn more about the application process. So first, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Honors College community. It really is the people that are at the heart of the Honors College. It is a community of scholars that includes students, faculty, and advisors at UVM. Students first and foremost. The Honors College draws students from all of the different academic colleges at UVM with all different majors, all different interests, all different aspirations and goals. And the thing that really brings them together is that shared outlook and mindset in terms of being interested in delving a little deeper into um, their intellectual interests, passions, and issues of uh, of the day, as well as wanting to develop their skills and expertise to become leaders and innovators in their field. Uh, in addition to students, the Honors College community includes faculty members. Our faculty come from all of the undergraduate colleges at UVM, plus the Larner College of Medicine, and faculty in the Honors College teach our first year course, The Pursuit of Knowledge, as well as teach uh, sophomore seminars that cover the broad range of multi multidisciplinary subjects that can be covered. Uh, faculty also work closely with Honors College students through research, scholarly engagement, and then also work very closely with Honors College students through the Honors Thesis Project. Um, another important element of the Honors College community is our advising staff. Uh, we have two academic advisors on staff, as well as three advisors who work in areas related to undergraduate research and fellowships advising. Um, our advisors work from a holistic perspective in that our focus is really on what are you passionate about? What is your sense of purpose in this world? How do you start to articulate who you are and what kind of impact you want to have on our society? And then let's work backwards. Uh, what are the opportunities and resources that are available at UVM that help you build uh, your toolkit, your experiences, your expertises, so that after you leave UVM, you are prepared to go do the things in the world that you want to do and be the person you want to become. Um, so the community is perhaps the most important element of the Honors College, but joining the Honors College means you're also signing up for some enhanced coursework that will complement your academic experience at UVM. It will start with our sophomore seminar series, HCAL 185 and 186. Uh, Honors College sophomore seminars are small seminars. They're about 18-ish students in each class. Uh, they're multidisciplinary and can co cover a range of subjects, anything from complexity and climate change to crafting democratic institutions to uh, controversies in public health to controversies in modern genomics. Um, our Honors College sophomore seminars are, are always um, different each semester and a um, information on seminars being offered this semester as well as in future semesters is available on the Honors College website. Uh, so in sophomore year, you would take one course each semester, Honors College 185, Honors College 186. Uh, going into junior year, the Honors Curriculum uh, is a chance for you to start to really take ownership of what you want to study, what you're most passionate about, and what you want your Honors experience to look like. Each academic unit has Honors College junior year requirements that usually include a thesis preparation experience, uh, so putting a thesis proposal together, finding a thesis mentor. It also usually includes 
uh, scholarly engagement, undergraduate research, or other work that help you dive into that process of innovation and discovery within your field and build experience that oftentimes leads into your senior honors thesis. Your senior honors thesis is your honors college requirement for senior year. It's six credits of thesis work spread out over two semesters and uh, also in many colleges includes a thesis defense process. Upon successfully defending an honors college thesis, you are designated as an honors college scholar and have all of the rights and privileges that go with that designation included on your diploma and on your transcript. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the honors college capstone thesis project because it is um, a project that all honors college students do in the senior year and it is a great opportunity to, again, develop your, to really pursue your interests in your major, to develop your expertise. It's also not for the faint of heart. It does take a lot of uh, work and preparation to really identify what that subject is that you're most passionate about, to also then make the connections with the faculty who you want to work with on your thesis project, and then to also put that proposal together and go and pursue that thesis project. Uh, We do have advisors as well as faculty in the Honors College who are here to mentor and advise you as you go from having a subject that you're really passionate about to developing that into a research question and a thesis project. Um, But it is something that is a very intellectually rigorous experience and can be Uh, challenging. So when considering an honors thesis, as well as when considering uh, all of the honors college curriculum and how it fits into what you're doing at UVM and what you want to do at UVM, uh, one thing I will say is that you do want to be talking this decision over with your advisors in your home college. Um, This can include any faculty advisors you may have, as well as advisors in your college's student services office. Um, You want to be sure that the Honors College curriculum requirements certainly fit in with your plan of study, uh, but you also want to be sure that what is included within those requirements, that research, that thesis project, is of interest to you, fits in with your goals and what you want to do at UVM, uh, and as well as fits in with what it is you maybe see yourself doing after UVM. Um, So next thing I do want to talk about are some other program benefits for being a part of the Honors College. Uh, Being a part of the Honors College means you have priority registration within your class. You do get to register for classes first, and what this enables you to do is sign up for the courses that you need, both in the Honors College as well as outside of the Honors College. Uh, Special library privileges include that you can check out books for the entire semester, um, as well as several other privileges that are outlined on our website. Uh, You do have, again, access to the honors advising and scholarship support that really can focus on undergraduate research fellowships, national scholarship opportunities, um, internship funding opportunities, uh, and other uh, different advising opportunities that help you kind of figure out what, what you like doing here and what you see yourself doing after graduation. And then the last benefit, again, is that Honors College Scholar designation that certainly stands out on your transcript and is also you know, a mark of distinction on your resume. Uh, it's also a mark of accomplishment in that you really chose to pursue a rigorous course of study and put your all into your academic experience at UVM. And it's an academic extinction, distinction to be very proud of. For more information, I encourage you to visit the Honors College online on the UVM website. Um, Online, you'll also find our application process, and you'll also be able to uh, learn more about the community, the Capstone Project. If you have questions, if you'd like to talk more, please visit the Contact Us page on our website. Uh, Email us, give us a phone call, and we would be happy to chat more in person.